She's pretty dirty, guys. I still haven't even had time to wash it since coming back from Fort Myers Beach. It may not even matter. That's because this may be the Blue Iguana's swan song. That's right. There's a very good likelihood I'm getting rid of it. Are you gonna ask me something about my truck? I am. Is it a truck? Yeah, of course it's a truck. <laughs> is found. Let's go. So guys, let me give you a little backstory. Back in November, early November, okay, I get an email from Hyundai saying, there's a safety recall on your car. Well, it so happens that the truck was due for its normal service. So I went to the dealership, I brought it in for service, and when I was in there, you know, they ask you all the questions, kind of like when you go to the doctor. They did in fact tell me that in the computer, it showed that there was a recall on the vehicle. They just couldn't tell me what it was for. I was like, wait a second, you got a safety recall on it, but you don't know what it is? And they told me they were waiting for more information from the manufacturer to determine exactly what it was and what the parts would be that were necessary. They didn't know yet. So I said, okay. Fast forward, mid-January, I get this in the mail, which by the way, is not dated, but I got this thing literally about a week or so ago, okay? And it reads, and I quote, this notice is sent to you in accordance with the National Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act. Hyundai has decided, they decided, that a defect which relates to motor vehicle safety exists in certain 2021-2022 model year Santa Cruz. What is the problem? The vehicle's fail-safe limited mobility drive mode may be impaired resulting in illumination of multiple warning lights and approximately 20 to 30 seconds of normal drive power followed by a complete loss of drive power. A loss of power while driving could increase the risk of a crash. Your Hyundai dealer will reprogram the transmission control unit. Your Hyundai dealer will also inspect the transmission and replace it if necessary. This procedure will be performed at no charge to you. Well, thanks a lot. I sure hope so. Please contact your nearest Hyundai dealer to schedule this procedure. Guys, you know, it's not for love of the vehicle itself. I mean, to me, to be honest with you, the blue iguana here, she's actually taken on a personality and a character of her own. It's been a big part of this channel, big part of my journeys. Who needs a beach chair when you have a truck bed? Barefoot in Florida with a baby blue barefoot pickup truck, SUV crossover thing. Where I've gone, people I've met, things that I've done, but the bottom line is what it comes down to is reliability. I mean, if I can't trust that the vehicle is gonna be able to get me to and from where I need to go, whether it's leaving from Florida and going to California or just, you know, going to Publix to grab some expensive eggs. I need to know that the vehicle is not gonna let me down. Listen, things happen, we get flat tires, you know, the brakes gotta be replaced, and all the normal wear and tear. But for a still relatively new vehicle with 13,000 plus miles on it, there's no way I should be getting letters in the mail telling me, hey pal, we may need to replace that transmission. Listen, I've had vehicles that have lasted me 10, 12, 15 years that never had any transmission issues whatsoever. I certainly don't want to worry about it in under two years time. Okay, so Hyundai wouldn't talk to me on camera, but guess what? We're gonna go talk to some local experts here to see what they think about this situation. They work on cars here all day, every day, all types of vehicles want to get their expertise. 
What's up, guys? Who's the resident expert here? It's about a recall, a safety recall. My Hyundai truck, it just got recalled. They said the transmission. It's a, it's a one-year-old car. I'll get out of the way here, sorry. When prompted by transmission high pressure, electronic oil pump malfunction while driving the vehicle's mode may be impaired, resulting in illumination of multiple warning lights, yada, 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 followed by complete dry power, loss of power. What will Hyundai do? They will reprogram the transmission if necessary and replace the entire transmission on a one-year-old car with 13,000 miles on it. Nothing more than you know. Really? The entire transmission? Recalls are, you know, happen all the time on cars. Uh, okay, I appreciate that. But let me ask you this. If it was your truck, you paid $1,000 for this thing, you get something like this that's saying that they would actually potentially replace the transmission. Mm -hmm. Would you keep the keep the vehicle or get rid of it? That's your choice. <laughs> what would your me, choice? Me personally, yes. I'd get rid of it. Yeah. Because I know it's an issue. You would get rid of That's it. That's me personally. I agree. That's what is upsetting about it to me. So I called them up real quick and I asked them, I said, am I safe to drive this car now? They're like, oh yeah, it's safe. It's no problem. Go ahead and drive it until you can bring it in. So it's like I can't get straight answers from them. That's the honor recall. How important is the transmission to a vehicle? It and brakes it's you. It brakes you don't go. <laughs> Yeah, so that's your power. It's your engine to your wheels. That's your power. Bottom line is, you would get rid of it. Yeah. Or give it back to them, let them do their thing, and then get rid of it. Thank All you for right. your expertise, You're brother. Welcome. I really yeah. appreciate that. So, guys, I'm not so crazy. It's exactly what I was thinking. You know, if I can't trust a car that's a year old with well under 20,000 miles on it, and the safety involved with that, I may be looking at a new vehicle. And by the way, the Santa Cruz has this dual clutch transmission, which I really didn't know much about until I bought the vehicle and I read about it. And among some of the criticism that I read about this particular transmission is that it could actually be clunky at times and, and feel like it's hesitating, which I've actually noticed from time to time. But that's the other thing. How do I know that it's the dual transmission just doing its thing, or if it's my transmission about to blow. I contacted the local dealer. I voiced my concerns. They really couldn't give me much information over the phone because, you know, it's not like I was talking to a mechanic. I was talking to the person that answered the phone that's in customer service that basically took my information, checked into the recall, and scheduled the appointment for me. So listen, I get it. Recalls happen. They're fairly common. Most manufacturers have them. Tesla's had a bunch of them. So I get that. But we're not talking about like some exhaust system piece malfunction or, you know, a light bulb that went out. We're talking about potentially replacing the entire transmission. And I'm going to tell you guys, you may disagree with me, but I think that that could spell the end. You might say to yourself, well, okay, listen, you know, these things happen. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to bed at night, I like sleeping with both eyes closed. Let's say they put a brand new transmission in it. Everything's fine. It all checks out good. I'm still going to have that little seed planted in the back of my brain that says, I hope that transmission's okay now. Well, guys, this creates a situation. One that I'm not happy about for many different reasons. Most importantly, because I love the vehicle. I really do. I, this, this blue iguana of ours, ladies and gentlemen, is a member of the family. Maybe I'll get a truck one of these days. SUV? Is it a truck? It's a bird! It's a plane! Guys, right here, this is the quintessential Florida vehicle. This baby has barefoot written all over it. I can tell you've got a Boston accent. We got a little trip today. We got a little trip today, Joel. We're going all the way down to Kendall. What's up, brother? Oh, look at this. I get a hug. Extremely happy, brother. 
Oh, it's already running? Ah, oh, that new car smell. Emily, I really feel that way. I mean, I know it's, you know, a machine. No offense. But guys, we've been through a lot together, me and this blue iguana here. And uh, I'm, I'm, I've got mixed emotions about this, you know? On the one hand, I really got a beef with Hyundai because of this situation. And again, I know that you, you get these recalls that they happen. But nonetheless, one of this magnitude for me... It's probably a deal breaker, guys. So in the final analysis, me and Miss Blue Iguana here are gonna be bidding each other a not so fond farewell. Am I crazy? I don't think so, but I'd love to hear from you. Put it in the comments. Would you keep it or would you say goodbye? Hold on, guys. Hold on. This is this could be a really good omen here. Hold on. We got to check this out. Look at this. Bunny rabbit. Hello, Mr. Bunny rabbit. Goodbye. It's my year, ladies and gentlemen. The year of the rabbit. Too bad it's not the year of the iguana.